Hello people of YouTube and welcome to my kitchen. The recipe I will show you today is a simple yet elevated dessert to fall in love with. Flan. Creamy and rich custard topped with a layer of clear caramel sauce for an even more delicate taste. Take the classic custard to the next level. And let's make our flan. Flan is always a winner when you want to make a nice dessert for a meal, when you want to impress everyone and actually you will spend only five minutes to make this recipe. This is a very easy recipe and the only thing we have to concern with is our caramel. So I have a non-stick pan and I will make my caramel. The easiest way is just to use sugar but to make sure that everybody will succeed I will use sugar and water. It's more, it's easier to handle. So with this way, 100% everybody will succeed. Now, I want some salt here. And if you didn't know, now you know that if you make caramel, the caramel has a very caramelly taste. But if you add a pinch of salt, then the caramel has 10 times more caramel taste than normal caramel. Did you know that? Of course you know that, <laughs> you are editing all my videos. <laughs> now, we have to be a little bit patient because this procedure will take about three to eight minutes. It depends from the heat of your stove. If your heat is very strong, it probably will take only three to four minutes. But if your heat is not strong, then probably it will take more. The thing we want to see in this pan is a golden, nice, sexy color of a caramel. We don't want to burn the caramel, we want to make it sexy, clear and blunt, okay? Now, I will carry on stirring for a few minutes until my caramel is ready. And uh, after my caramel finished, probably I will need two more minutes to finish off my recipe and go straight in the oven. So, it's a very easy recipe. The only thing I want from you is to stay here next to your pan and make sure that your caramel will not burn, okay? And as I can see, to the very edges of the pan, some pieces of sugar start to caramelize. From the moment that we see this golden color until it burns, it's about one minute uh, away, okay? So, be careful at this point when you see this caramel honey color, make sure that you will carry on stirring. Take the edges all the time, the edges are, are more caramelized than the center, and my caramel is ready. Now, be careful because I took off the pan from the heat, but the caramel carry on burning. So please make sure that you will transfer it straight away. So my caramel goes onto the pan. And at this point, I know that the caramel looks so sexy. Do not taste it. And make sure that nobody will. If you are a father, a mother, and you want to cook everything with your children, you don't want to touch the caramel. It's bad, okay, like this? I told that uh, 10 times uh, since now. So if you try to make flan and you come here to Kitchen Lab and your fingers look like aubergine, it is not my fault, okay? Now, this was the hard part of the recipe. Let's carry on with the easy part. Uh, we have to mix mix everything together, the ingredients you see here. We need five eggs and three yolks. One, uh, it's an eggy recipe. It tastes like uh, creme brulee but without uh, the sugar on top. So we need some eggs. Don't worry, it will not have eggy flavor, uh, but we need eggs for this recipe. So two eggs, three eggs, five, and three yolks. I will keep the whites for an egg white omelet after this flan. So, the eggs are inside the bowl. I will add some vanilla extract. If you don't have an extract and you have uh, the powder, you can use some of it. A little bit of salt. And I have two kinds of milk here. The one in is a condensed milk, and the other one is sweetened condensed milk. So I want both. This is uh, 400 grams, the sweetened condensed milk and the other one, 400 also. The amount is not the same because the sweetened condensed milk has uh, sugar inside, so it's more heavy, okay? You got it, uh, my friend Michalis? So I will use both. Oh my God, everybody loves sweetened 
condensed milk. The hard part of the recipe when you're using this kind of milk is not to eat the milk before you use it inside the recipe. Another thing you have to make sure that you have to be aware is do not put your finger inside the, the can because at this edge it's very sharp so it will cut you. This is one of the biggest inventions in this century, probably the previous. I don't know when it was invented. And this is the condensed milk. And we're using those kind of milks because we want to have this intense taste of milk. We want to be very full of flavor. So this is it. We mix and mix everything together. And at this point, make sure that everything mixed very, very well because we don't want to leave eggs unwhisked. So my friend Lucky, the mixture is ready when it's runny. It's runny? Not yet, it's a little bit gluey. So I will carry on, I will carry on, and I'm ready. This is it. Now, I will transfer this mixture on the top of my caramel. And now, on the top of it, goes the egg mixture. I love this recipe. Yeah, I'm telling you, this is a killer. Because uh, you don't need a lot of time, it's very impressive. And you know what? If you tell somebody that, come on, I have a nice flan in my home, everybody will come, okay? Now, it's time for bake this bad boy. I have a tray here, nice tray. Make sure that the tray will fit inside the 20 centimeter diameter pan. And I will add my pan here. And now I will need some hot water for the water bath. So this is a very important step that you need to consider. What happens? If the water that I'm adding inside my recipe is cold, probably the flan will never cook. So this is the basic thing you have to remember when you're cooking something in water bath. The water has to be very, very hot. So as you can see, my water is steaming. So actually immediately, I'm starting to cooking my flan. You got it? Now, aluminum foil on the flan and make sure that the tray is completely covered. Now, I will transfer that to the oven. My oven is preheated to 160 degrees Celsius, set to fan. And this bad boy goes in. Now, for how long? In 40 minutes, my flan will be ready. I will leave it on the side to cool down and then I will flip it over to serve it. And my flan is ready. I refrigerate my flan, it's uh, cold, it's not at room temperature, but you can consume at room temperature too. Now it's time to cut a nice slice. Look at this. It's soft as butter, but at room temperature. <laughs> And look at this beauty. This is perfection, my friend. Oh my God. And of course, I want some of the caramel. Sorry, this bit has to go inside my mouth. Oh my God. More caramel on the top. Some recipes like this are simply awesome. Look at that. Everything is in autopilot. Just a little bit of mint. And what I need right now, Black is? Only love. Only a spoon, my friend. I want a spoon. This is one of the best recipes ever. It's quite simple. It is so complete. It's not so sweet. It's, um, it's balanced and you can eat at least two, three pieces. And um, the only thing that I want from you is to try this recipe. It's so easy, everybody can do it. You have to make comments under in the video, share this lovely recipe with your friends, follow in social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Viber, TikTok, and uh, what else? Yeah, and YouTube, of course. Bon appetit, I hope you try this recipe. I will carry on.